Hey guys, I am in a thrift store in the area that I live in, so I'm just going to take you guys on a quick walkthrough. And I don't know if you can hear, but I did get a raggedy buggy. But they do a lot of times have coach purses in here, Michael Kors purses, um, and some other name brand purses that I see people looking at. So I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what they have. Um, I did find a Dooney & Burke wallet. Um, I found another Dooney & Burke bag. That's Ralph Lauren. Another Dooney & Burke bag, but I didn't get it because I couldn't tell with what they had it priced at, if it was real or not. Um, and they do not authenticate their items. So you have to be able to look it up and know if it's real or not. The bags are the older model bags. I haven't seen any up-to-date bags. There are a lot of the older coach bags or the older Michael Kors bags or the older Dooney bags um, that people have turned in. A vintage, I should say vintage, like there's a Michael Kors one. And it's only 20, what, $39.99? So they're not bad. You just have to check them for wear and tear if you're going to purchase them. Here's some of these shoes. I've never gotten shoes from here, but um, they do have a wide selection of shoes, whether it is kids, adults, men, or whatever. They do have a wide selection of shoes, some name brand, some not name brand. Um, we're trying to get over to the wallets. A lot of times they have really good wallets, which is where I found the Dooney and Burke um, wallet at that I purchased. It was in excellent, excellent condition. This is my struggle and I promise I'm going to get better guys, but I struggle with going through stuff. When they have all that, the wallets are all thrown into bins. There's a Dooney and Burt wallet, but I struggle so bad with like going through mess. When it comes to fil filtering through mess like this, I'll do it for a minute and then I give up. So I will get better as we go. There's another coach wallet, but y'all, my, I, I just, I just get so much anxiety. I just stop <laughs> and I know I probably missed out on some other things, but they just have it piled in there. I don't know. It's just a mess. There has to be a better way to do these wallets. I'm going to take you guys up to the jewelry section. Um, this is where you see in the video where I found the jewelry jar. This particular one has bags. And you will see they have a perfume bag, a makeup bag, a watch bag. I didn't see a jewelry bag. Um, yeah, and this is where they have the stuff that they feel like is worth something. It's in the glass cases. To me, not all of it is worth being in a glass case, but there's the bags. I guess they feel like if it can be stolen or small pieces are in the glass case but there's a perfume bag it's only 49 dollars but if you can find one perfume in there that costs 49 dollars then you win um there's a makeup bag a hair bag a watch bag i don't even know what bag that is And here's some of the loose um, makeup and loose jewelry that they had. Um, I guess they didn't want to make a jewelry bag. I don't know. If this stuff is vintage or valuable, y'all let me know. Because I don't know anything about that type of jewelry. Um, and then this is the other jewelry that they have in here that I think may be stamped. 
not that but some of the bracelets may be stamped 14k or 10k i'm not sure um i didn't even want to bother them to pull it out to look at it um they do have rings and necklaces on the other side in the showcase but i'm just showing y'all some of the stuff that they have they were really busy today they have a lot of watches uh I'm going to have to go back. They're, I don't know a time when they're not really busy. Like, we've been early in the morning as soon as they open sometimes, and they're busy. So, So these are the Gen X toys and I normally am looking for, not Gen X toys, I'm looking for Gen X toys. And I'm normally looking in these toy bags that they have for like strawberry shortcakes, any Smurfs, um, Care Bears, which I haven't found any Care Bears yet. I did find um, some Smurfs and I did find a Wonder Woman in here one time. But if you guys are ever out at yard sales, rummage sales or anywhere, or if your kids are growing out of their Smurfs or Trolls or strawberry shortcake or... I have to try to remember other Gen X cartoons. I collect them. So I'm looking through the bags to see if they have any. Um, you know, like the little miniatures that used to come, like even the McDonald's or Burger King toys. Like I feel like they're even slacking off on their kids' meals. And sometimes I would go to McDonald's or Burger King to see what toy is in the kids' meal. Um, yeah, but that's what I'm looking for through here. I haven't actually bought any toys for any kid or anything through here. I would normally like bleach them, really sanitize them, and wash them down but yeah that's what i'm looking for over here and then you will see me go to the stuffed animals we are getting ready to have a care bear party um next year for my niece um and my sister is looking for anything care bear all kinds of care bears so they have all the stuffed animals on the top of the kids clothes and you see them there. there's a pokemon um i haven't found any care bears yet i think she picked a hard one to find there's mickey mouse I've seen Winnie the Pooh and stuff like that, but no Care Bears yet. But I'm just looking through the top part to see if there's any Care Bears. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to go ahead and check out with my Dooney and Burt bag. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright guys, we are out of here. If you want more videos like this, then comment below more videos like this and give it a thumbs up.